你好，啊，我叫 Kater， 我叫波恩约翰，我来自爱尔兰，我来自英国，欢迎来到 Dalian。Dalian, a port city in Liaoning Province, is unique in more ways than one. While it's also a key city of China's northeast, instead of coal mines, it has a coastline. Instead of a long, harsh winter, it has a deep harbor. Dalian is known for its vibrant international trade, beautiful gardens, and cosmopolitan outlook. Foreigners are irresistibly drawn to Dalian, the gateway to China's northeast. Dalian, which covers an area of 12,500 square kilometers, sits on the southern tip of the Liaodong Peninsula. Thanks to its oceanic climate, Dalian is protected from extreme temperature fluctuations, unlike other parts of the northeast. As the largest port of the northeast, Dalian is also the city that's most open to foreign influence. With its pleasant climate and beautiful scenery. Dalian is rising as a popular tourist destination too. During the weekends and summer holidays, huge crowds line the coasts of popular beaches like the Xinhai Park. Elsewhere in the city, there's another stretch of coastline with much activity: Dalian Port. Over here, some serious money's being made and economic wealth created for the city and the northeast. Dalian, as a port of the northeast region, has the advantage of being close to the coast. Its natural conditions are excellent and good. It's a natural harbor, ideal for trade and international business. And I think the Dalian port has the advantage of being close to the coast. It's not just for the coast, it's for the entire country. It's for the northeast region to open up its economy and to provide a window of opportunity for the northeast region. 国有大型企业、外商投资企业和民营企业的上岸、下海来提供服务。From the latest electronic gadgets to branded clothes, Dalian has also transformed into a trendy hub for such products. The port not only sees the import of these goods going through it, but also the northeast's very own exports. Dalian Port handles 90% of the container traffic for the entire northeast, making it the second largest port in northern China. As the entire northeast restructures its economy, a boom in international trade follows. Dalian will play an increasingly important role as a transport and logistics hub. Overseas port operators like Singapore's PSA International are involved in joint ventures to help run Dalian's ports. Right now, Dalian port can handle ships of up to 300 tons. In the near future, the new partnership will build berths capable of handling ships up to half a million tons. With these new facilities being built, Dalian Port estimates that by 2020, its throughput will increase nearly six times to hit 15 million TEUs. We have set a goal: how many ships can handle the load on the Dalian Port? How many ships can handle the load on the Dalian Port? This goal we will definitely achieve. But the government wants more than just the biggest port with the largest number of berths in the northeast. It also wants to develop other economic sectors, and the financial sector is a natural choice. As a international trade center, we have many international trade conferences every year. Many foreign companies come to Dalian to make business. This naturally forms a central trade center in the northeast region. 那么，既然是一个国际贸易中心，它就一定是一个国际结算和国际金融中心。那么，现在东北地区唯一大连一个城市有
呃外资银行。东北地区百分之八十以上的外汇结算业务是在大连实现的，所以大连它是东北地区的一个国际航空中心。A financial center cannot do without a futures exchange market. Every day, millions of commodity investors stay glued to electronic boards like these as they monitor the slightest price movements. Investors, some of whom are farmers, keep a close watch on the movements of key agricultural products like soybeans and corn on the Dalian Commodity Exchange. Besides the Dalian Commodity Exchange, two other commodity exchanges can be found in Shanghai and Zhengzhou. If there is no Dalian Commodity Exchange, then there will not be the supply of the Dalian Commodity Exchange to the rest of the country and other products from the Dalian Commodity Exchange to other countries. We can think that if our trade is increasing at a rate of increasing, if we open the doors of the Dalian Commodity Exchange, then the world will be the same. 跟我们期货品种相关的商品将会源源不断的运往大连，并经过大连中转到其他这个地方去，这也是对这个大连北方这个航运中心的建设，呃，有很大的好处了。With its fertile soil, the northeast is known as the grain base of China. This region is well known for producing high-quality rice, soybean, and corn. 过去，中国传统的这个农民的做法是，根据天气来种粮，根据以往的经验来种地。那么卖什么价格，怎么卖，他们是没有经验的。现在我们有了期货市场，给农民提供了一个很好的一个价格发现的这么一个市场机制。农民可以根据期货市场所表现出的价格来安排他的种植计划。这就是我们经济学界说的。Another growth potential area that I think in Thailand is the financial services. Now, besides seeing those com foreign commercial banks and insurance companies setting up their offices here, now one benchmark that we should look at is the Thailand Future Exchange. Now, Thailand Future Exchange though has not many product to trade, with more relaxation in commodity trading, even financial instruments derivatives. If given the license from the central government, Thailand has a has a potential, even the opportunity to grow or to be the financial center of northeastern China. In 2005, trading volume on the Dalian Commodity Exchange hit 200 million lots, or 60% of China's total trading volume. To further promote the growth of commodity trading, the government plans to develop a financial district covering 500,000 square meters. It is expected to be fully operational in two years' time. By then, Dalian hopes to claim a new status as the financial hub of the Northeast. <laughs>